Uh, it means a lot. Um, we definitely see it as a trophy game. We see it as, but we also just see it kind of as an important game for us. I mean, every game's important. It's just the next game for us, and uh, we really need to, you know, have a great week of practice and prep to uh, be able to compete with those guys. I mean, yeah, we don't need, like you said, much motivation or like it was said earlier. Um, we know it was good uh, in terms of, you know, myself and the receivers seeing that the, we could, you know, have that connection we've had in practice out on the game field and we feel like we can be more consistent doing that. But uh, we just need to finish the games. But I don't know. I, I, I think there's a lot of importance just to be able to play, you know, to the level that we're capable of each week and be able to hold, um, you know, that level of play offensively, defensively, and in the kicking game. Um, so we just need to, you know, bring it all together and um, put our best foot forward. Yeah, absolutely. Just, uh, we were just in sync. Guys were running really great routes. Protection was clean. Um, and uh, there was, we, were, we had good anticipation. I was throwing it kind of before guys were open, and um, we just had a really good feel for each other. Yeah, it was a it was a lot of game planning. Just kind of seeing uh, that they would uh, they drop their linebackers into coverage a lot, and so the underneath would be open. And uh, when they do man to man, um, there would just be a lot of leverage on those things. So yeah, that that was mostly game plan. I mean, r route concepts are usually you know subject to change each week depending on what how a defense plays. But I mean, for the most part, those were a lot of just our base plays. Uh, it held up well. Um, there were a few times it kind of got rolled into a little bit, and I noticed it. It was a little painful, but I was able to walk it off, and it would it would kind of uh, calm down a little bit. And then yesterday, it felt good too. Um, I definitely didn't get worse, so that was really encouraging to see. And I think I'm just going to keep getting better. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, guys are disappointed with the loss, obviously, and especially the fashion in which we lost. But uh, we expect, I mean, we expect a lot out of ourselves. We kind of, like I say on Saturday night, just kind of got a little bit too confident and a little bit too, uh, you know, comfortable with the lead we had. And every aspect of the team um, kind of put their foot off the gas pedal and uh, became vulnerable. And then moment momentum in college football is a crazy thing. It just, you know what? It's it's a real thing, and they uh, they capitalized on it. So, but I think the team's in a good place. Um, obviously, again, guys are disappointed, but uh, they're very very prepared and very uh, eager to kind of get that taste out of their mouth this week. I just think we need to continue to, you know, put our foot on the gas pedal. I mean, that's kind of the same situation that happened against Wake Forest. Uh, I don't know, we just kind of thought we had it. We need to learn how to handle success better. This team, um, we're uh, we're very talented. We can play with anybody. We can beat anybody. Um, but we need to, you know, I, th I think we coach kind of nailed it today uh, in, in our little team meeting this morning that. We've been able to handle failure, you know, pretty well. You know, whether a guy misses misses an assignment or, you know, a bad throw, kind of coming back from it. But how are we able to handle success? How are we able to handle good plays? Are we able to come back or just kind of be excited about the play we just made? So, uh, I mean, it's a good uh, opportunity for us to learn from, and uh, we're, we're real excited. Like I said, to get this taste out of our mouth. Uh, 
Um, not necessarily. I, I mean, they're, they are who they are, and th they've had one of the best defenses in the nation for the last however many years for a reason. Because they're good at what they do, and they're very well coached, and uh, they're good players. But uh, at the same time, I haven't quite watched enough film to be able to tell you definitively yet at this point in the week um, kind of how different it is. And, but, uh, I mean, definitely it's the Michigan State defense that we've, we've played against. For, for years, but I'm sure they'll they'll do a little bit different things. Yeah, that'd be tough. I uh, I think I saw it um, after the game, and I talked with you guys, and then I uh, left, and I was hanging out with my mom, and then I think my dad called me and said, "Did you see the end of the?" end of the Michigan State game and then I looked it up on like the ESPN app or whatever and yeah it was insane I mean that's college football they, like for us too you got to play every snap and the uh, game's never over so I mean yeah that'd be tough to come from but we're focused on ourselves and we have a lot to keep improving on. Yeah, it's difficult just because, I mean, again, it, the last thing you remember is just kind of the bad feeling you had. But it is important to learn from your mistakes and to learn from what you did well, especially with those receivers and myself. I, I mean, we, we've pulled out cut-ups of, hey, this is what we did well. We need to keep emphasizing this, keep working on the little things, make sure we even do these better. And then we looked at the plays that we messed up. And, I mean, that, that's just kind of how college football is. That's how the business is. You, you kind of look at the good and... Make sure you do it again, and then you look at the bad and try to fix it. So it just kind of comes with the territory. Yeah, he did a great job. Uh, it was good to see the young guy come out and play um, with confidence. He, uh, he was running it hard, hitting the holes fast, and um, caught the ball well. So, I mean, but we like all those running backs. We, we really feel pretty deep there, just kind of get those guys' experience and confidence. As, as those guys get confidence, they're going to – they're going to be even better. Thanks, Nate. Thank you.